the Joe Rogan experience. I, th- I think you're so right. And to, to make it like a not a partisan thing, our politics are so shallow, hollow, theater, cable news based. They're like Twitter politics. And you can see it not just with Trump, who's like the ultimate incarnation of that. But during this pandemic, Andrew Cuomo is like this celebrity governor. Yeah. Democrats are like, God, we got to get him in there. He's amazing. He's doing New York had the worst outbreak of any state. And that's not all on him, but it is partly Mm. on him. How is it on him, though? Because because of the dynamics of the city itself? Let me tell you a couple things. Yes, in part, yes. But also, they shut down later, right, than other places like Washington, like California, which had a much lower outbreak. He mandated that nursing homes take back in. And 43% of coronavirus deaths are nursing homes. This is a nursing home pandemic mandated that they take back in recovering COVID patients. And he happens that he got a you know million dollar plus campaign check for his reelection through an affiliated committee before he got reelected. And so he also put made sure to put into place a liability for all their executives so yeah. that if they don't do a good job, they can't be held liable. And that data shows is correlated with increased COVID death and infection rates because they know that they're not going to be held responsible. So there's a lower threshold there. So there were very specific decisions that were really bad and fueled the worst outbreak in the entire country. But because he can get on TV and give a commanding press conference, that's all people really care about. He's got like 80 percent approval rating. Yeah. Has he spoken about the recovering COVID patients being readmitted to the nursing homes? Not much because his brother on CNN is primetime anchor Chris Cuomo and they do these ridiculous interviews where they like joke around about how big his nose is rather than asking questions like that and look it'd be one thing if you were gonna have your brother on once or twice like i get it fine you know but no night after night after night it's the show of the two brothers chumming it up while people are dying this is a politician who's supposed to be held to account that is yeah. supposed he's, to be your role. He's as a fucking around with his brother, joking about the size of their nose and the swab. Well, there are like literally thousands of old elderly people who died because explicitly because of this decision. Now we're not saying he knew he, the, the decision, but like there needs to be some like scrutiny and accountability of that. Nobody at CNN wants to touch it because Chris Cuomo's the anchor. Nobody at MSNBC wants to touch it he's because he's a Democrat. Because he's the biggest Democrat, and they all live in New York, and they all probably have dinner. With each other. And of course, I mean, people on the right are talking about it because he's a Democrat. But yeah. like, there's no, I mean, outside of right. Crystal and a few others on the left, you are And on the right, they're total hypocrites too. Fox News picks it up with this like liability story and how he gets this through. Meanwhile, Mitch McConnell's proposing the same thing at a national level and they're like a okay with that. So, I mean, this gets back to the sort of central concept of the show, <laughs> which is how we don't do that shit. <laughs> like, yeah. if it's a Democrat, we're going to, you know, yeah. we're yes. like, you fucked up on this right. thing. Like, let's talk about it. If it's a Republican, we're going to do the same thing. And that's the way, I mean, at a basic level, that's the way it's supposed to be. And it it's a big, big problem, again, going back to this moment that we're living in, because no one trusts anyone. And for good reason, even if you are an MSNBC watcher and you know it and you love it and you love Rachel Maddow and whatever, you know you're getting spun. You know that they're picking certain stories that are going to, like, pique your interest and they're ignoring Mm -hmm. everything. The the end of every, the the lesson of every single news story cannot be, ergo, Trump is bad. Like, (laughs) that cannot be the conclusion of literally every news story. And over on Fox (laughs) News, the end conclusion of every news story Fake cannot news. be ergo <laughs> democrats are evil and un-american yeah. right yeah. Every, we, we all know this no people are not that stupid 